Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here back with a brand new Shadowgun Legends video to talk about the new adventure mode. We have a brand new adventure in Shadowgun Legends and it was introduced with the 100 update about a week ago. So Unearth is the first adventure to come in Shadowgun Legends. We don't know exactly how often we'll have adventures, but what we know now is an adventure is basically a series of chain quests, a series of missions, and you have to complete each mission to have access to the next one. Now, each mission is gonna give you some rewards, could be just fame, fame and XP, or it could even be some unique stuff never seen before in the game. The cool thing about the adventure is it's gonna give you more to the story in the Shadowgun universe. Let's look at the different missions from the Unearthed Adventure. To get these missions, you have to go talk to Slade. And once again, if you don't have the missions when you start the game, you might have to complete one blue mission first and then Slade's gonna give you your missions. Now the first mission for the adventure was eliminate the Torment Excavation Team for 500 fame. The new adventure missions have a different color. It's a darker blue and they have their own icon. So the first mission was pretty fast, less than two minutes for me solo. Uh, it was just a regular blue mission. Now once you're done, you go back to Slade and he's gonna give you your next mission. Now you have to kill 10 Torment Defilers. Now if you forgot what Defilers are, they also give you a clue in the description of the mission. On the second sentence in the paragraph, they say whatever those yellow bastards were looking for. So yeah, yellow Torment are Defilers. Now what I did, this one was a bit longer for me because I wanted to try and do some, some missions on the last planet and I found out I only had one defiler in that mission. So then I went and do my dailies but I had zero defilers in my two dailies. So I wasted a lot of time. I decided to go to the silver arena. Guys, the silver arena is full of defilers. The chargers, the crushers, the twin blades, they all yellow. Now don't forget the void colors on round three and five. I had all six void colors for myself on that round. So yeah, 10 was very easy for me. Now you go back to Slate for your reward and he's gonna give you a unique sticker never seen before in the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, leave me a comment below, but I don't think that sticker was in the game before. Now on top of that, you have 1500 fame. Then back to the easy stuff, mission number three was protect the marines, so it's another regular blue mission, very quick, not much to it, and it's gonna give a bit of fame. Now mission four was a slap to the face, guys. Kill 25 enemies disabled by EMPs. I had to respect for that one because I'm not running EMP. To gain access to EMP, you have to put 13 skill points in survival. And I know not a lot of players are running EMP right now since the last skill tree update. But yeah, I did respec and I don't know if it's bugged, but I had it on one daily mission only. And I think I only use EMP like twice or maybe three times. But during the mission, I gained a ribbon for the EMP ribbon, killing 25 enemies. And I'm sure I didn't kill 25 before the ribbon. So I don't know, maybe it's bugged. Maybe I did actually kill 25 enemies uh, using the EMP. But yeah, that was very quick, guys. And then after that, I respec again. But I lost a lot of credits because of that. So anyways, it's going to give you a unique bucket, a paint bucket called Arak Camo, I think. But it's very nice. It's like a desert camo, military camo. But I just take a look what it's gonna look like on my Samurai bundle and it's really awesome. Now back to the easy stuff. You have to collect special fuse, another mission here that probably you've done before. I don't know if there was a change, I didn't notice. But you have to do a normal mission, super quick. Uh, you have like three fuse to collect during the mission. And on that one is Big Red talking to you during the mission. So he says he's going to be your contact on that one. Once you're done, you go back to collect your reward, 2000 fame, and you're going to get the final mission for the Unearthed Adventure. Now that one, guys, is epic. It's a brand new, unique mission never seen before. And it gives you a bit of story about some iconic characters in the game, Nico and Kira. I mean, I didn't play the previous Shadowgun games, so I don't know about the story much before I played Shadowgun Legends, but Nico and Kira are in the game because they have some legendary weapons named after themselves, the Kira SMG and the Nico Stopper AR. These are super iconic weapons in the game, but we don't know much about the story, why they have weapons named after themselves. So the mission was pretty epic. You do actually get to play as one of the characters. I don't want to spoil it, so I'll stop right here. But if you want to know everything, just watch the rest of the video. I will play the full mission from start to end with the sound and you can read the comments on the left. The whole story is there. It's very, very epic, guys. 
and then leave me a comment below how did you like the first adventure and once again i don't know how often we're gonna get them is it gonna be once a month twice a month less more uh we don't have more details but i like the adventure idea i like chain quest i like that they make us play a uh, different way i would never have used the mp if i didn't have to uh, they they want you to go and get some specific torment i also like the unique rewards the baramundi guys is the reward for the last mission it's a very popular weapon and it was only available at low levels so you had to kind of create a new account if you wanted to have baramundi but now they give you another one and it's a specific model with custom paint job also it has fixed perks so everyone's gonna have the same so no advantage if like the, the luck is not gonna be a factor some guys usually they could get lucky and get great perks and the other guys get unlucky and get bad perks that kind of sucked so then everyone has the same but it's not perfect but it's pretty good but yeah that's gonna be it guys i really enjoyed the first adventure it wasn't too long not too short not too hard not too easy uh rewards were pretty cool now i don't know about you leave me a comment below cannot wait to read what you guys have to say about the first unearth adventure in shadowgun legends that's gonna be it guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video once again hit the like if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Time to get my hands dirty. Work, you piece of junk.
Extraction unit to SG. Coming in fast for hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. 